Hello everyone, welcome to Make It Clever. My name is Chad and I'd like to share some tips with you that I have come across after receiving my CR10. The first one would be when you go to put this together and it comes down to attaching the two braces together, you should attach the two screws on the bottom first on each side. Tighten them down and make sure they're snug. You want to do this before you tighten down the T-brackets on each side because what can happen is if you tighten down the T-brackets and the brace is not fully seated against the frame, perhaps it's like resting on those little rubber stripes right here, you could end up either stripping out the screws or very possibly when it feels tight, it's not really and you end up having like this, just this millimeter of a gap and then that means your head is not traveling perfectly across the plane of your printer, which can cause you big problems later on and you'll never know why. So tighten those screws first. Number two, before you do what I just told you, number one, you're gonna want to take each section and check all the wheels on all the moving points. This is very important because if there is any wheel that turns freely and doesn't actually move the carriage with a single little adjustment by your finger, that can lead to a possible motion in it. So because it's not making proper contact, that means that whole bar in that one spot where you didn't tighten it could allow it to move just a bit at the wrong time, cause random problems with your prints, and then you're gonna be hating yourself. But I love you. That counts, right? Number three. There's a very real chance that the glass that came with your printer is bowed, but it's okay. Don't freak out. You still can print with it. Now, what I can tell you is that mine is bowed. What I have done is I have taken the glass and put the bowed side up, and then I did the calibration for all four corners, and then I slowly came towards the center to where at least dead center I get the perfect gap and then anything beyond that might end up getting loose very I mean that's gonna happen but as long as you get the center area good you'll still be able to get really good prints I printed things uh, you know about eight inches long from each different direction and even at an angle maybe even 10 inches long and they still printed great but that's my recommendation to you keep the bowed side up and then go from there Number four, those paper clips that came with your printer and hold the glass down, don't move them to the far corners. Keep them about where they are probably when they came with your printer. And the biggest thing is don't put the paper clip at the home location, which would be the front left. If you put it too close to it, and you have the paper clip too far in, your print head will actually come down and run into it. Or worst case, if you had it all the way in the corner, it will land right on top of it and drag back and forth on it for a second. That, <laughs> it happened to me and I'm just like, whoa, that is terrible. I thought I just ruined the print head right off the bat, but thankfully I did. Just keep your paper clip on a little ways and the print head should go right past it. It'll go over it, but it'll go right past it you'll be all right and number five make sure you check the voltage switch on the control box make sure it's set to the right one i live in america so we're using 110 volts make sure you switch it to 110 volts if you're in america before you even plug it in because there is a possibility you could just fry it and then your printer is just a brick a very large brick on the desk so don't do that hopefully these five tips came in handy for you if they have please like subscribe hit the little bell button there so you get a reminder and you're gonna be seeing some pretty awesome things coming your way from this channel again my name is Chad go make something clever <laughs>